Hello, Akoi Region. I am so glad you have joined us today. This is Thursday. Hey, y'all, thirsting Thursday. Thursday. That's what I'm going to say. Yes, it (laughs) is. I am so glad to be back here today. I am bringing a dear friend, a son, uh, uh, back to us today. He's been here before. Uh, We were here when he um, launched uh, a book called Worship, a Job Experience. And now he's written his second book. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and so it is powerful. 21 day praise and worship daily devotion. And you know, none other than my spiritual son, because I don't want Miss Pauline coming after me. <laughs> my spiritual son, Minister Craig Ware. Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. People Wonderful. don't know we've been in here in some intense conversations ready to come on the air. Absolutely. That's that's what we do when we get together. <laughs> because we, we just bouncing off of one another. Yes. Uh, feeling the Holy Ghost. Yes. And, and going from there. <laughs> yes. And it is so awesome. Hey, I'm going to jump right in, you know, because... I want people to understand you're a businessman, you're a a husband, Mm -hmm. you're a father. I like the husband part. I know you do, and we have the queen in the audience. She is here in the Being camera shot. Yes. (laughs) She don't want to come on the camera, but we want her to come on, but, you know, it's okay. But it's okay. She's my boo thing. I know. I know. I know. So you all of that, and that's what I love. You are in the kingdom, you in the marketplace, uh, you're a Christian man and walking out your Christian principles in the marketplace. Yes. Okay? There is no atheist on Monday Ooh. for you. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that marketplace is tough too. It might be tough, but that's where we got to be good. the yeah. salt <laughs> and the light. Okay? That's right. That's we got to right. be that. But I really want to talk yeah. about this book because I want to do, I want to give it justice. So, 21 Day Praise and Worship Daily Devotion. So, I want you to start out and tell the people, how did you get here? Well, I'll tell you how. After you got (laughs) that done. (laughs) You know, it's it's really crazy or not crazy. Uh, It just seemed all my life I have been one or two. Okay. And what I mean by that is... Either I was a praiser or I was a worshiper. Mm-hmm. And God has has abled me to be both of them. And, you know, uh, going through things. Uh, when I wrote Job, yeah. a worship experience, I was actually going through, whew, can I say hell? Yeah, you can say that. I was going through hell. On Earth, when I wrote that book, I lost. I experienced a whole lot of loss. Mm-hmm. I experienced un, what I would think, you know, my little trials, my trials. Uh, it was hard. Yes. And out of that came this. Yeah. Twenty-one day praise and worship daily devotion. Why twenty-one day, and not thirty? Well. You know what? I heard <laughs> it takes 21 days to break or form a habit. Yes. So, and that's what God led me to do. He said, Craig, I could have did 30. I could have did 40. But he said 21 because it's 21 days that changes some things in your life. And so, and I was like, okay, God, I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'm just that crazy enough to believe that God is, if he tells you to do something, do it. So this is where this came from. Also, and I was like, well, because me, I'm asking God questions. Yes, yes. I always ask God questions. Well, why 21 days? He said, this is a microwave society, microwave generation that we live in. Now, everything is Quick, 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 quick. You look at me. 
who has time anymore to sit down and eat a, a hearty breakfast unless you retire? And sometimes, and sometimes you can be retired and, and still not have that time to sit down. So God said, listen, I want you to put this together, do it like this, because people are on the go. And so what I like to do is give them bacon, eggs, hash brown, <laughs> biscuits, all in, all in one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. When you were talking, I kept hearing uh, uh, 21 Day. Uh, God said, okay, when you, you add that number together, it adds up as the Trinity. Yeah. Okay. And so when I think about a devotion, especially the way this is written, uh, and it is as you're reading through, it is teaching you not only how to praise, but how to worship. In other words, how to live this thing yeah. out. Because worship is how you live. Yeah. And so when I saw that, and you can't do it without God the Father, yeah. God the Son, and God the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is what its function yeah. is to operate, to guide and lead you. That's right. And so when you were talking, he said, yeah, 21 day, microwave society. Yeah. He said, but look at the power yeah. of that number and what it represents. Absolutely. I said, look yeah. at Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know what, that's what people need um, more than anything, you know, you take me, for example, there's a, a, I think Bible Gateway has a little app that, yeah. you know, they give you a verse for the day. Yeah. You know, and people people are looking at that and saying, you know what, I could read that and I could be okay. And that means I got my word in. I got my day. word yeah. in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and sometimes we rushing through the day. We actually do that too as well because now I'm looking at this scripture that, that I'm reading, I'm like, okay, Lord, what are you giving me out of this scripture? And then God gives me something out of that scripture. And, you know, me and Karen are actually do it too. Okay, we're like, Karen, what do you what's the word for the day? And and she'll go down and she'll read. So I say, What's that mean to you? Mm-hmm. And she'll tell me then then she'll ask me, Okay, what does that mean to you? Mm. So we get something out of it. And this is what this is right here, because I have a little a uh, uh, little segment in here that says go deeper. So going deeper allows you to reflect what does that really mean to you? Yes. What is God telling you as you read this? Yes. What is God showing you or telling you about this segment here? Yes. And so this is this is what this is all about, where you can you can look at something, you can read the scripture, read what God has given me, and then you go deeper in your own thoughts and what God is telling you and what God is showing you. So here's the question I got for you then. I see you have that open over there. I, I have this open. <laughs> okay. I, I do so have let's this do open. the devotional. Okay. <laughs> I think you have it on what, day 15. I have this on day 15 because, you know, Karen's my wife, my boo thing, my buttercup. <laughs> She is my buttercup. She was like, so what is your favorite day? Mm. And I was like, well, what's my favorite day? I said, and I looked, I said, all of them are my favorite days. Yeah. I, I, I've been through this whole yeah. thing in the last 24 hours. So Some good yeah. stuff. Well, thank you. Then I said, well, if I really had a favorite day, my favorite day would be day 15. Mm. And she said, why? I said, because look at it. It's called... Build a place of worship. So now you're going to have to share that for my Akoi region out there. You're going to have to come on and share. I will do that. So I'm looking at 2 Kings, mm. verse 4, 23, it said, And he said, Why would thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It is well with my soul. This is talking about the Shudamite woman. Yes. Go ahead. Teach. I, this I love. You have this Shudamite woman who built a place for the man of God so when he traveled through, come on, 
he can have a spot at her home. Built the room for him, a table, a lamp stand, and a bed. A place where he can go seek God, worship God, and and just get into a, get into God's. Out of all the chapters, out of all the days, this has to be my my favorite my favorite day because if we can build a place for God to come in, ah, I feel the Holy Ghost. So we can have intimate relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. The sky is the limit. Yeah. There is nothing that we can't do. There is nothing that that we can't accomplish in God's presence. Right. The Bible said in his presence there is fullness. Yes. So fullness of what? Fullness of joy, fullness of, fullness of happiness. I would like to say fullness of resolve. Mm, I love that. And so if we can build that place for him so he can come in and say, I've, I've been waiting on you. What you been? Where you been? <laughs> yes. So this is my favorite day. Okay. And I'm going to say, I love this. Uh, you have a quote here. And it says, uh, Robert Weber mm -hmm. quotes, Worship is and it is well with my soul experience. Yes. God is able to yes. raise a dead marriage. Yeah. We're speaking to somebody out Absolutely. there today. Okay? He's able to raise a bad career. We're speaking yes. to somebody out there Amen. today. So let's build a place for the Lord. Yes. Amen. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. I, I tell you, a lot of people can't say that. And sometimes, and some days, can I just be real? Yeah, be real. That's why we're here. Listen, some days I don't have <laughs> it as well. <laughs> I, I don't have that some days. But worship, if you can find in your heart to worship, everything else seems obsolete. Mm hmm if you can, if you can go into that place, I think somebody say a happy place. It is a happy place. If you can, it is. If you can find, if you can find that place of worship, you can slip right into the glory of God, and and He takes care of everything that you need. Yeah, yeah. I, he told me this years ago when I was at Bradley County uh, Sheriff Department. Yes. Uh, he said, Craig, worship is, it's like. How did he say it? Keys that go up into heaven, unlocks the treasure box, mm. and you receive what you need. Yes. That's healing, that's miracles, that's finances, that's blessings, that's anything. So if we can worship, my worship bec becomes keys that unlocks heaven's treasure box. Yes. To access whatever you need. That's that's how he gave it to me. God be giving me some some. <laughs> Well, you're unlocking the supernatural. Yes. That's what that is. And see, we are, we are beings, yeah. supernatural beings, and we keep forgetting that. We are so hung up on our humanity, yeah. our flesh, but we forget that in his original design, we were created as beings, yeah. okay? And we were connected to him. His original design, we were made in his image yes. and his likeness, okay? That's and that's why Jesus had to come down and put on the flesh yeah. <laughs> and walk through as a human Thank in God flesh and show us that because ain't nothing yeah. we can talk about he didn't experience that's as right. a hum human being. The Bible even said he was tempted. Come on. Went straight to the wilderness. Okay, and so he's he was tempted. Everything that we think we're tempted, he's done it. And guess what? Yeah. And he was without sin. Without sin. Without sin. So we, if we get in that place and keep our focus on God, <laughs> then we can live a life that it is well. Yes, that's what yes. you're saying. It's well. It's well. It's well. Even, even when it's not well, even it's when well. Even it's, when it's not well in the natural, 
<laughs> if we stay in the supernatural where it that's is right. well, it's all well. And that's what the Shudamite, <laughs> the Shudamite woman knew in the natural. It wasn't well. Mm-mm. So what? Her son was dead. Her son was dead. Come yeah. on. Her, her son was dead. In the natural, it was a disaster. Yes. But in the spirit, she said, it's well. Yes. It's well. And so even to us, in the natural, it may, look, it may be a disaster. But if we continue to say, you know what? I know this looks bad. I know this looks bad. But it's well with it's well with my soul. Mm-hmm. I think God can change it, turn it around. But we have to get to that place. We have to give Him permission. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we have to give Him. That's why I love that song, uh, "Permission" yes. by K and E. That was here yesterday. Yes, but I love that Powerful song. Powerful young ladies. Yeah, they yeah. are. Powerful but young I ladies. love. We have to give him permission, yeah. and we have to. Uh, it's good that we're saying that you have to invite God in yes. and give him permission to operate in your life. But you know what? <laughs> saying that. Come on, I know. People look at it and say, permission? Permission? To do what? Uh huh. Come on. Because automatically they think in trouble. Because mm-hmm. here's the thing you know, when I wrote Job, you know, worship, mm-hmm. a Job experience. Oh, I was happy. Oh, God, I got a book. And then I said, wait a minute. How what does this mean? Yeah. I, am I going to have to go through what he went through s- similar? Mm-hmm. I backed up. I said, oh, no. I don't want that. I don't but want you know that. what? That brings me to the uh, fruit of the spirit. Okay? We want all the attributes. Yeah. But long suffering. Yeah, we don't want long suffering. But the thing about it, to have fruit of the spirit, you got to have all the attributes. That's it. Okay. That's it. And so, if he suffered the cross, then why and suffered death, then why can't we? Yeah. And I I think people look at it. You know, (laughs) in my own experience, I looked at it like, oh, because how many times have I read the Book of Job? Oh, yeah. I read that. I read it frontwards, backwards, sideways. I I read it, and I'm like, oh, oh no! I seen what he went through. <laughs> I I'm, I don't want to go through that. I'm Amen. like, God, listen, I'm going through enough right now <laughs> as it is. And, but to go through what he went through, I, I didn't sign on for that. I know, I know, but I know. We do sign on. Yeah, we do. When we say yes. Yes, we do. Anytime we when give, we say yes, yeah. Lord. Ooh. Yes, or when we say I accept yeah. Jesus Christ as my Lord, Lord and, and Savior. Savior. Oh, okay. You just Come on, enlisted. y'all. You just enlisted. Yeah, you just enlisted. And you're gonna have to walk this salvation thing out. Ooh-wee. Okay. You do. You know we could be here all day. Hey, I'm telling you, <laughs> we could be here all day because we on a roll. Hey. But you know what? I don't want us to lose sight of why we're here today, because I, I know you have another book in you. Yeah, I do. And I, I do. want you to give us a little morsel of the next book coming up, okay? So, you know, um, I'm, I'm just going to toss the <laughs> ball to you, and you can give the title, and you can give the morsel of the next book coming up. Well, I, well, I had two books, you know. Karen will tell you, my wife will tell you. It's, it's like put one thing down, finish one, and pick up the other one. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm like, okay, I got this over here started because God is speaking about this, and then God uh, uh, tell me something over here, so I'm jumping back and forth with, with uh, books and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, listen, I just need to put one down and finish it. But everything is hectic. But one of the things, one of the books that God – actually told me to write, you know, I'd say last year uh, was Queen. He, mm. said, I, he said, I want you to write a book about your wife, for your wife. I mm. said, really? He said, and I want you to title it Queen. I love that. And so I said, okay. I said, that sounds, that sounds good. And the subtopic is uh, 25 prayers that help shape your wife's life. Hmm. So you speaking to the men out here? I am. Hey, I love I that. I love that. So, so when is that gonna be ready? Listen. 
<laughs> it should have been ready months ago, but, you know, life happens. Yes. And life happens to all of us. So uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a cap on I'm going to say in six months. Okay. Or earlier. Okay. Well, you but let me know when that happens. I think, okay. I think it's going to be. Because you're going to have to come back. Yeah. And share that book with us. It's, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. I know it is. So, well, let me well. let me do this real quick. Uh, uh, Corey Region, I am so glad you joined me today. I'm talking with Minister Craig Ware. As I said, he is an evangelist. He's an author. He's a husband. He's a father. Uh, he's a businessman, and we are here today promoting his books. Today we were talking about 21 day praise and worship. It's a daily devotion. You got to get this. We were also talking about when he was here last time, worship a Job experience. You got to get this. And uh, hey, uh, Adrian, I just want you to switch up because I want to tell people how they can get in uh, touch with Minister Craig Ware. I love your artwork. Thank you. I really do. And I love the ministry uh, logo here. But you can get 21 Day Praise and Worship. You can call that phone number, 423-314-6749. Or you can email free to be in Jesus at gmail.com. I love that email address. Yes. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Before we close... I'm going to give you the last word. I want you to, I just feel it all over me, that you have a word for the Okoe region. And so I want you to look in your camera, and I want you, yeah, and I want you to give a word that God's put on your heart uh, to the men and women of Okoe region out there. I tell you what, you know, when I started out, I didn't like to read. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like to read. But I, I had a pastor that told me, uh, we started out reading the Bible. He said, Craig, he said, he said, reading the Bible makes you smart. <laughs> and it actually does. It makes you smart. I feel that God is telling me you can do anything that you want to do. Uh, regarding ministry, regarding family, regarding uh, job, business. You just got to seek his presence, seek his face. Get in his presence, ask God what you want him to, what you want to do uh, with your life, and, and start moving toward it. God is faithful. If he, can, if he can birth this out of me, and he can do anything. Amen. Amen. And I think this is a time that people need to hear that. Um, I know 2017 wasn't yeah. easy. Uh, 2018 is, uh, uh, there's, as you look around, there's just so much going on, yeah. so much negativism, yeah. uh, so much division. And, but through it all, he is still king. Yeah, God is still God. He is still the creator. Yeah. And this is this earth is still his. Yeah. And so we have to keep put our trust and keep our trust in him. That's it. You That's know? It. And know that because he is in us, yeah. then we can do all things. The scripture says his word all, all things. things. And what Not is, just some. What does all mean? Come on, all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it means all. It you, means all. <laughs> it means all. Well, you know what, Minister Craig, where I just love you. Love and I back. thank God for you being Thanks. in my life. And uh, I thank you for coming in here again um, with the. Did you say your life? I yes. thank God for you being in my life. You remember the first time we met, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Good. I do. First time we met, I was like, oh, God, I love her. <laughs> I love her. She, I don't know. She mm. needs to be somewhere 
with me. You remember I said that? Yes, you did. I, you I, did. I, I got touched. I'm telling you. <laughs> and, and Karen can testify. I said, I don't know who she is, but we're connected somewhere. Sure. You yeah. you gave, I liked the shirt you had on, and you went and got it clean. And before I left Cleveland, went back to Cincinnati, you gave me that shirt. I did. I still have I, that shirt. Do you still got that shirt? I still got that oh, shirt. Oh, wow. Yes, wow. yes, yes. That's, yes. How, that's how we met, and I think I asked you to be my mom. Sure did. Sure did. Yeah. And Miss Pauline, you birthed him, <laughs> and you raised him. But I love him, too, and I'm his spiritual mama. Yeah. I had talked to her for a minute. <laughs> and I thank you for your son. But anyway, you can see here that we can go on and yeah. on. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say uh, until, yes, until you come back. Okay? And I know you're getting ready to go on vacation. And I thank you for stopping in here. God give you rest. Yes. God give you peace. And most of all, the hand of protection yes. is on you and your family I as that. you go and and rest in him. Yes. Okay, and let him replenish and refresh you so you can come on back here and we can continue the race. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Okoye Region, we thank you for joining us today. And guess what? We will be back again with a new hidden gem. But, you know, he's no longer a hidden gem. All right. Thank you. God bless. God bless.